we've installed Operations Manager, we've got everything working. The first step you want to do when you've got Ops Manager working is you want to download and configure the Operations Manager Management Pack. This is about the most uh, overlooked management pack. So I'm just going to go to Pinpoint. I just put in Operations Manager Management Pack. It appears. I get to my download screen. I get the option to download the doc or download the full MSI. I'm going to pick um, the full MSI. I'm just going to stick it on my desktop and let it come down. When it comes down, I'm just going to let it uncab. Um, when it uncabs, I'm just going to stick it into x86 program files. The reason it goes into x86 is uh, every management pack will look to go into the x86 program file container. You can change it to um, you know just program files if you're using a 64-bit, but you have to do it on every single management pack download. So it's actually easier just to um, select uh, x86 and change Ops Manager the first time it does it. So when you download the management pack, we get um, a whole bunch of management packs to bring in. Um, some to do with reporting, some to do with operational data reports. And when you import them, you get better information into Operations Manager. So here's what we're just going to do. We're in the admin console. Just go to management packs. Uh, we want to import management packs. Okay, so import management packs. Uh, add, it's going to say from catalog, that would go direct to the internet. I always say from disk, I don't want any dependencies. Uh, so let's just go to C, program files. Uh, system Center Operations Management Packs, Ops Manager, and let's pick them all. Hit open. Um, at this point, some are already in, but they're going to be updated. That's a new one. I just say install. It's going to import the management packs, and as soon as they're imported, they're ready for us to start the config. Okay, management packs have downloaded. They're in we're ready to start configuring the management pack. Before uh, Ops Manager is able to diagnose and look at what's happening with an agent, we need to set this automatic uh, agent management account. It's in profiles under run as configuration. So if we just uh, open it and have a look, um, it asks us to add an account. I'm just going to create a new one. The account that you create um, needs to have admin rights on the machine and um, I'm going to say uh, less secure I want to put out on every machine. So that's going to um, create that uh, agent recovery account, all targeted objects. Now that I have that in place, uh, for every management pack that we want to work on, we need to create a unsealed management pack to store changes in. So I'm just calling to call it my initials, uh, SCOM MP, just say next. And what I'm going to use this uh, unsealed management pack for is any chaining and configuration work that I'm going to do now. Okay, what we're going to look at now is we're going to enable an automatic uh, agent recovery. So I go to the authoring console, I go to monitors, I need to change scope, uh, I need to select all objects, and what we're looking for is the health service agent watcher node. I want to go to availability, uh, health service uh, heartbeat failure, I want to go to overrides, override recovery, and say um, restart the health service and what I want to pick is enable and restart the health service for all objects of class health service watcher node I want to say enabled true and the management pack is the one I just created for SCOM I hit apply and hit OK now we need to do the same thing Restart the health service and for reinstall the health service as part of a trigger diagnostic. So let's just say enabled 
true set that and then let's do the same overrides uh, override the recovery reinstart for all objects enabled true and um, if you don't do this on your management group one of the first things you'll notice is is that uh, agents that go grey, like servers that go grey, stay grey because you don't have this recovery properly configured. Next thing we want to do is enable the um, Operations Manager Management Group Database Watcher Group mode. So again I just change scope. In my scope I pick View All Targets. In All Targets I've picked here uh, Operations Manager Management Group from the management group I want to go to availability and I want to go to operational uh, database watchers group you can see already that it's grey meaning that it's not enabled so what I just want to do is say override override the monitor for all objects of class operations manager management group uh, I want to say enabled true and last step, super important, don't put it in the default management pack, put it in your uh, Ops Manager management pack. Last thing I want to do is I want to enable uh, automatic recovery for the config service in Operations Manager. I'm still in uh, authoring, uh, still in monitors. For this I want to say view all targets and I just want to say root. And what I'm looking for is just root management server. Inside a uh, root management server, let's just expand down to availability. And there's a slight uh, typo or change in the management pack guide. What you're looking for is that there management configuration service. And I just say override, override recovery, and I say start the management config service for all class root management server. Uh, spacebar. T drop down management pack apply and OK. At this stage now, you're after configuring your uh, operations manager management pack. It's about the most important management pack to work uh, on terms of being an ops manager administrator.